Hey there, NFL fanatics. It's the host with the most here, Rai Rai. And it's that time once again for discussion about the Chicago Bears 2017 preseason and regular season. Yes, I know I'm a month late because the NFL announced it and they discuss it and all that hoopla. Hey, it's better late than never, right? So, let's continue and I'm going to discuss first the preseason. Now, there are four of them. Not a big fan of preseason. They need to eliminate one of them or maybe two of them and they add on to the regular season. Maybe they may do that on down the road when they have the winter meetings. That'd be nice. Then these key players won't get injured so early in the season. You know, especially, especially in the preseason. Speaking of preseason, the first preseason game will, will be Thursday night, August the 10th against the Denver Broncos in Chicago, Illinois on Fox 32, 8 o'clock or 7 o'clock. It all depends what time zone you're in. The preseason tickets, I'm guessing, are very cheap or maybe they want, um, they will, they jack up the prices up. Who the hell knows? I went to one preseason, preseason game with my dad and his friends. Um, they don't put no, um, they don't color the end zone or nothing like that. They want to save all that for the regular season. From my point of view, I think the preseason should be like 10 bucks or 20 bucks. That's it. You know, not like $300 or 100 bucks for preseason, you know. They don't even get a full crowd for preseason. But if you don't get able to go to the regular season, go to preseason, you know. It's warm. It's in August, and you have a better chance with, with better weather than the regular season. Maybe in the regular season, maybe like the first couple weeks in September, you have a better chance than when it gets to October, November, and December. You don't want to go out there. It's too cold. So, let's see if the Bears can win the first preseason game. Okay, next one will be Saturday, August 19th at Arizona against the Cardinals. That is a beautiful stadium. I was there back in 2010 for wrestling, WrestleMania, with my family, and it's nice. The stadium opens, it closes, it's very, <coughs> sorry, <coughs> unique stadium. So this would be like 9 o'clock in Chicago time, and in Ann time, and out there is at 10 o'clock on Fox 32. And then another one will be Sunday, August 27th in Tennessee against the Tennessee Titans. Um, noon on Fox 32. And then last but not least, Thursday, August 31st, back in Chicago against the Cleveland Browns. So, Bears are going to be 4-0, 0-4, 2-2, or 3-1. Who the hell knows? You know, that's just a quick prediction. They might win them all, but you can't hit the panic button if they lose them all, you know. I could care less about preseason because... Most of the starters are not going to play the first game of the regular, I'm sorry, the first preseason game. You know, maybe like the last one, they might have more um, playing time. It's mostly for the rookies. Okay, and now the regular season. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, Sunday, is September the 10th, against the Atlanta Falcons, the defending NFC champions. They had a great season. They just fell apart in the Super Bowl. So this might be a good game. This might be a total blowout. Who the hell knows? We all know who's going to be the starting quarterback for the Bears um, for September for week one. We all know yet. It's way too early. It's only um, May right now, you know. I think sometime in May they're going to have like a mini camp for the NFL teams. I don't know if it's required or not. This will be on Fox 32 at noon. Uh, or in the 1 o'clock. Um, then they travel to Tampa Bay against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers September 17th. That's a Sunday. <clears throat> a Sunday. <clears throat> Excuse me. I got a frog in my throat. Not really, but you know what I'm saying. Uh, at noon, a Fox 32 or 1 o'clock. Then September 24th, a Sunday, 
noon on CBS against the Steelers back in Chicago. So that should be a good game. Um, with Big Ben, I'm hurting that he be we, he will be back playing for this year. He's been with the Steelers for a long time now. Um, next one will be the first Thursday night football game against the Green Bay Packers in Wisconsin. Uh, seven thirty. Chicago and in and time, you know, Central Time, I think, and it'll be on NBC on NFL Network. Now, this thing I don't understand. Why in the hell you want to have two different networks and on the same channel? I mean, I mean, two different channels, but the two, two, two different channels, but same broadcasting team. That makes no sense. <clears throat> Leave it on um, local TV, NBC. A lot of people don't have the NFL Network. I could be right. I could be wrong. Most likely, that's going to be very hard to get tickets in Green Bay. <clears throat> then, Bears will go back home against the Vikings, a division rival. Same thing for the Packers. That will be Monday Night Football, October the 9th, uh, 7.30 or, or, or 8.30 or it might be later. And ESPN will be earlier. Who the hell knows, you know? It all depends on the time zone. <clears throat> damn, damn it. Sorry about that. Sunday, October 15th at Baltimore Ravens, 1 o'clock or noon, uh, Fox 32. <clears throat> Baltimore was like a up and down roller coaster team last year. Next one will be Sunday, October 22 against the Carolina Panthers back in Chicago against the Bears at noon or 1 o'clock on Fox 32. Then Sunday, October 29th at New Orleans against the Saints at noon or... 1 o'clock on the Fox 32. Then, Sunday, November the 5th, we got a bye week. The Bears do, so they could rush, their, rush it up. They could spend time with their friends, family. They could um, rest their their injuries they have from the previous couple weeks. Then, back home against the division rival again. Sunday, November the 12th, against the Green Bay Packers back in Chicago. Yeah, 1 o'clock on Fox 32 or noon. Then Sunday, November 19th, back home again against the Detroit Lions in Chicago. Noon or 1 o'clock or later or earlier. Fox 32. Then Sunday, November 26th at Philadelphia against the Philadelphia Eagles. I think that is the, um, yeah, the, the couple days after Thanksgiving. So it's a week of Thanksgiving weekend. Um, 1 o'clock or noon, Fox 32. Last time Bears played Philly, well, last season, Bears lost. And Philly had a pretty good season. Early in the season, they just fell apart. I don't know what happened to them. Then, December the 3rd, Sunday, Sunday 1 o'clock, noon, whatever, against the Niners in Chicago, against the Bears. Um, Niners are just a total mess, so this might be a rebuilding team. <clears throat> or... We might see what happens this year. Then Sunday, December the tenth, at Cincinnati against the Bengals, one o'clock noon, Fox thirty two. You know, time zones. And then Saturday, we got a rare appearance um, against the Detroit Lions on Saturday later in the evening. So this might be a playoff um, push. push or we might be out of playoff already. Who the hell knows? It's on 4.30 on uh, NFL Network. So, so most likely it will be on two channels. Because a lot of people don't have the NFL Network. Then Sunday, December 24th. A day after Christmas. This is like December 24th. Christmas Eve. Against the Cleveland Browns. Wait a minute. Didn't we just play the Cleveland Browns on preseason? I thought we don't play two teams twice. Especially... Non division. I think that's an error. I don't know. I look it up on my phone and I look it up on the computer. That makes no sense. So that has to be a mistake by the NFL. I don't know. I don't. I can't figure it out. Let me know if I'm right or wrong. I looked at everywhere. And Sunday it'd be at noon on CBS or one o'clock. Then Sunday, uh, December thirty first, last game of the regular season against the Minnesota Vikings. In a nice stadium at noon of Fox. So I thinking Bears had a crappy 
year. They can't get any worse next year, can they? I think eight and eight or maybe nine and seven. That's the best that I could I could think of. I know they're gonna have a a veteran quarterback who hardly started. Um name up it is Mike in. I know he's been complaining because they drafted a young guy from the draft, a quarterback. You know? Let's see what happens. So I'm looking forward to the upcoming bear season, check out bear season, that's what I'm trying to say. Um once again I could care less about preseason. Um training camp. That's sometime in July, it's free. Sometime in somewhere in Bermuda, Illinois, I was out there with my brother and my dad a couple years ago. But ever since this coach, John Fox, it's a different time he does this, you know, afternoon or um, I think late in the afternoon. Last time, the previous coach, or you no, know, the previous coach from that, it was in the morning, you know. So every coach is different. So once again, I think the Bears will be like 9 and 7 or 8 and 8. I'd be surprised they'd be like ten and six or uh, eleven and five. But I'd be lucky. Look at Green Bay is getting you know they improving. You know every every year they won what how many division titles they won what seven in a row. Lions just fall apart every freaking second half of the season. The Minnesota Vikings they were five and zero oh in the early season and they had a lot of key injuries and they missed the playoffs. They should have won the darn division last year, but. Things happen, and the Bears just fell apart. They're the worst team in that division. So, I'm thinking positive. I'm glad I got rid of color. And let's see what happens. So, this is your friend here, Rai Rai. It's signing off. And what game are you looking forward to? The Bears versus whoever. Um, so, if you go to a Bears game, I recommend you going on the road. You know? I think that the few, the first three games are going to be very tough. Or the... I think the first couple of games of the regular season is going to be tough. We might be 0-5. We might be, I don't know, I can't really predict the early season. We might lose like, we might be 0-6 or we might lose them all before um, bye week. Hopefully not. Hopefully it's like a 500 ball club early in the season or a both 500 ball club and surprise the NFL League. And uh, surprise all the Chicago Bears fans. I've been a Bear fan for a long time. I'm not going to give up on this team and all good stuff. So that wraps it up. Have a good one. And I'll talk to you on the flip side. Thank you very much for watching. I'm sorry, listening. And that wraps it up. Thank you very much. This is Rai Rai. And sign off. All my social media accounts are down below. If you have Instagram, check my, insta um, check my description. You can check my Instagram. You can follow me on Instagram. And all good stuff. Have a good one. And I'm out here. Peace out.